Hello friends, this video on NEAT Ecology is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What is proto-cooperation? So we often hear about this term proto-cooperation, which is a kind of relationship between two different organisms. Now, what is this? Cooperation obviously means that the two organisms are trying to cooperate with each other. But what exactly is this? Here two living organisms are mutually benefited, but can also live without each other. Now till here, it was very much similar to mutualism, right? Where we say that two organisms which get mutually benefited to each other and that is why they stay together. But from here, it is little different from mutualism. But in, in proto-cooperation, these two organisms can very well live without each other. So, it is not that the two organisms need each other for their survival, but it is just that when they both are together, they help each other. But even if they are not together, they are very much okay to live without each other. So that is proto-cooperation. So it is like, uh, let's say that uh, your friend at school, so you have a friend at school. So your friend, when you are with your friend, you both try to help each other. So you are mutually benefited from each other. But even if when you are at home or maybe you have gone to a vac on a vacation, so you are not with your friend. So both of you are very well happily living without each other. So that's proto cooperation. Now let us look at some examples of proto cooperation. So the relationship between the crocodile and the crocodile bird is an example of proto cooperation. Why? That's because in this type of relationship, what happens is the crocodile bird it gets its food from the crocodile. So when it, when it comes to the crocodile, it eats the leeches which are present in the crocodile's mouth. So inside the crocodile's mouth, some leeches are present, small organisms and the crocodile bird eats those organisms. So in this way, the crocodile bird is getting its food. So it is getting something to eat. So that's how the bird is getting benefited. What about the crocodile? So the crocodile is getting rid of the leeches. So the crocodile is also getting benefited. But that, that doesn't mean that the bird doesn't have any other source of food. So even if the crocodile is not there, it doesn't matter. The bird will arrange for its food from elsewhere. Similarly, the crocodile is also not getting badly impacted due to the presence of the leeches. So if the bird is there, when the bird comes and it eats the leeches, fine even if the bird is not there the crocodile is very well able to survive so the relationship in this case is when the crocodile bird and the crocodile are together they are mutually benefited but they can also live without each other another example of proto cooperation is cattle egret and the buffaloes or rhinos so what is this cattle egret so these are the birds as you see here in the picture these white birds these are called the cattle egret so these birds they eat the ticks and the parasites which are present on the skin of the cattle like buffaloes or rhinoceros so they eat those ticks and parasites so as a result the bird gets some food for itself and the cattle gets rid of the ticks and the parasites so both are mutually benefited but at the same time it is not that both are dependent on each other for their survival they can very well survive without each other also so these are some examples of proto cooperation now many a times people confuse proto cooperation with mutualism now it is very important that you understand the difference between the two so when we talk about proto cooperation both organisms are mutually benefited but can survive without each other so without each other also they can survive like the crocodile bird and the crocodile. Whereas when we talk about mutualism, they are mutually benefited and none can live independently. So that means it is a must for both the organisms to have the other organism. They just can't survive without each other. For example, lichen, the association between the fungi and algae. So in this case, what happens? The algae prepares the food for the fungi and the fungi provides protection to the algae. Now, if they both are not there together, so in this particular association, the fungi needs algae for its food. Similarly, the algae needs fungi for its protection. So they can't survive independently. So that way, this is an example of mutualism. So that's how, that's the difference between proto-cooperation and mutualism.
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.